Telecasters. Telecasters. Well, except, of course, they're not by Fender, so we probably shouldn't call them telecasters. What we should call them are Assats. <laughs> Assat. Hey, you got an President nice Assat. Assat. President it's Assat. His sign- yes, the President Assat of Syria. Probably uh, currently wanted for war crimes. I don't really know. We probably shouldn't go into that. People say we shouldn't go political on this channel. Hey, I just said Assat and it sounded a bit like Assad. Anyway. Welcome to... Nothing um, to do. Welcome to... Welcome to... Epic D. Oh, wait, is it? Is it an epic deal? I don't know, is it? Nah, sort of. Is it not, not an epic really deal? really an epic deal. It's just a nice guitar with a little bit of an angle on the price. Do you know what? It's semi-epic. It's semi-epic. It's semi <laughs> You, uh, You may well love this. Uh, GNL uh, was... Um, <coughs> oh, let's do that again. You may well <laughs> know these guitars. You may well know a little bit about GNL. The L in GNL stands for Leo as of Leo Fender fame. Um, This was the guitar brand that he worked with, uh, one of the guitar brands he worked with after he went his separate way from Fender. He made lots of lovely guitars with uh, GNL with his good friend George Fullerton. Um, The Asset being, uh, I guess, the one that looks most like a Telecaster. Yeah. Not even most like, as in exactly the same. It looks very exactly the same. uh, Yeah. It's got this, uh, um, the string through and everything. It's this, yeah. Yeah. So long after Leo um, had nothing to do with GNL uh, anymore, GNL decided to start making guitars uh, in the Far East as well. They still make them in America as well, under the uh, what they call the Tribute series. Um, they're mega, mega popular. A really great alternative to anything that comes out from, say, Fender Mexico or maybe some of the more expensive Squires. Yep. Um, <coughs> and. The Asat Classic, which is the one I am holding, is one of the best-selling guitars in that GNL lineup. Yeah, made in Indonesia. Yep, made in Indonesia. Sells for between sort of four fifty and five hundred pounds. Yeah. Um, Great alternative. Yep, cool guitars. Yeah. The big thing on on the regular tribute series is what you normally get is a is a fairly typical build quality for an Indonesian guitar at this yep. kind of price point, but with American. GNL pickups in it, which yep. is what gives it their sort of angle, that kind of like, mm, mm. that's a it's nice. American pickups. They must be better. So, in America, <laughs> land of the free, um, one of the big music retailers out there—I don't know if it was Guitar Center or Sam Ash or whatever—one of the big guys went to GNL and said, "What can we do to do a, a tribute that's going to sell for like a hundred bucks less, maybe than a than a regular 
Asa yeah. and GNL have said, well, how about we don't put the American pickups on them? So we put some more sort of stock pickups that you might get in the Far East out there. We'll make the bodies out of poplar. Oh, poplar. Uh, we'll do, yeah, because they're so I popular. I thought it was, it was very so popular. popular. It was quite light. I, th um, I thought it was quite light. And uh, we won't lacquer the neck. So we yeah. just give you a, like a satin finish neck. And that brings the price down to 349 English money, including VAT. That is Everything not, else is the same. It's not bad. I say everything else is the same. I guess if you change the neck and you change the body, you change the pickups. It's, it's not really There's the not same. There's not a lot left to be, to be different. No, but no. The, the bridge is the same. I like the bridge on here. The machine heads are the same. The basic, the you know, the, the electronics here will be the same. And the shape is the same. Yes. Um, and, and then it's a classic Telecaster configuration, as you know it. Three-way switch, volume and tone. Two pickups. Now, normally... String through body. Normally, uh, all of these guitars would end up in one of these big retailers in America and we'd never see them over here. Uh, but for some reason, perhaps I don't know whether they inadvertently made too many or whatever the reason is, uh, in this particular color, Sonic Blue. I like I'm this color. It's a bit it. lighter, isn't it? It's a bit yeah. lighter. Might even look white on the camera. I don't know. Does it yeah, look white it could, or does it does look it, blue? What does it look on Mr. the camera? Chris. Cameraman. Does it look like green or Sorry, blue? I've just, woken, or... I've just woken Chris up. Give him a second. <laughs> Very just faint, to, uh, get faint in blue. Focus. Um, and one thing I noticed mm. on this as well is that it's got rounded corners. Yeah, so has, but that's an ASAP thing. Is Obviously, that, is, Leo must have gone. Is it a gone, little bit bigger you know, as well than the. I think a lot of the GNL guitars so we just are check? fractionally yeah, larger. No, 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 they are. No. If you look at the. Um, the S500, the, the, the Strat uh, similar one, who you can do, they, it is marginally bigger. Oh, look out. Pete's about to compare it, and then we find out that it's no different at all. It, it'll be millimeters if it's anything. It's not. It's not. It's exactly the same. What is it then? Is the scratch maybe, weight smaller? Does maybe it maybe a make tiny it bit. look? What, is the, what do you see on this here, guys? I know this is relicked up, but that's really weird, isn't it? Because it, are you sure it's not? I think just it's just a rounded corner. Bigger? You know? Yeah, it could be. Anywho, anywho, anywho. So um, it looks longer. 15 of these here Sonic Blue guitars became available in the UK. Uh, we sell a fair few of the regular assets. So I said to our lovely GNL rep, I said, I'll take those off your hands. Dude. Um, 349, looks like a good deal to me. I mean, what can you what can you get for 340? You certainly can't get a, a proper Mexican Fender anymore for this kind of dough, can nope. you? No, no. Um, I mean, so 349, go and have a look at the website and see what you can get for 349. If you're looking for a Telecaster and you've got 349 pounds, 350 pounds, so Pete will take you through some tones. Yeah. So I'm running um, into the Fender. Of course um, you are. I like the Fender. The new, the new hot rod version four. Deluxe. Yeah. yeah. And a G chord sounds like this. That was on the neck pickup. Here Nothing you go. The middles. That. And the bridge pickup. I mean, it's got that kind of telecaster. Um... Here's an interesting one for yes. you. A couple of days ago, Pete and I did a little video of some guitars where if you added a naught onto the price of this, <laughs> uh, you could get telecaster guitars. And we were so bold as to say in the video we did for that, that they were possibly the best sounding guitars, best sounding telecasters that, it, that we'd ever tried. Yeah. And complete, you know, left turn here, yeah. Pete's using the same amp and the same pedal board. So if you want to get an idea of just what is a 350 pound guitar like versus a 3,500 pound guitar like, somehow try and get both those videos playing simultaneously on your desktop and like pause and stop so you can hear one and the other. I, I must admit, I know it was two or three days ago that we did that video, but the sound is still ringing in my ears of how glorious that was, they were. That was pretty glorious. It really was. <laughs> so I mean, this doesn't sound as good as one of those, but I guess in a way you'd, you'd, you'd be disappointed if it did. Yeah. If you, if you, <laughs> yeah, I mean, for another, t it's 10 times the price. It's 10 times the price. Yeah. It's 10 times the price and then some. <laughs> no, 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 not and then some. Just It is just 10 times the price. Is it, is it? No, because 3,500, aren't they? Yeah, but yeah, so a little bit. Anyway. Well, like, okay. Yeah, right. 10 so you times get, like, the price two, and, and two sets bit. of strings. Yes. So, but anyway, so, but the neck is, uh, is, is slimmer. It's much slimmer. So let's, I tell you what, I mean, let's forget about those okay, 3,500 pound guitars. Okay. Let's just talk about let this guitar. Let me tell you about what this guitar is. Let me tell you so about let it. Let me tell you about this guitar. So the neck is very slim. 
very much like a modern. Uh, it's a modern shape. I would even go as far to say that it's slimmer oh. than, let's say, your normal t Telecaster. Controversial. Uh, controversial. A bit it wider, feels maybe? Like, it feels a little bit wider, but I don't think so. I think that is just because mm. maybe the edges are not rounded. Okay. So it feels a little bit wider. Um, otherwise, it looks like a telly and uh, the body is, is clear. I think the best thing on this guitar, which yes. you don't normally see on guitars of this price point, Take is out. the bridge, which are six individual brass saddles. So you could, you've you got the benefit, well, you've got everything's good about that. You've got yeah. the benefit of the brass saddle to give it that classic Telecaster big zintage, zintage ving. Zing, zing, zing. I mean vintage zing. Yeah, but, zing, zing. Uh, but because you've got six <laughs> rather than three, you yeah. can get that little bit more accurate kind of uh, intonation. intonation. And that is, you know, I've never found that a problem in, in my on my Telecaster, but you know, some people like to have it better intonated than others. Let's put some light speed Greer stuff on here and see what happens. I mean, there you go. <laughs> Your light speed and exotic SP compressor that combination just went there on there. has basically taken a guitar that is like sounded a tenth as good as the Telecaster, and maybe now only makes it sound like a fifth as good. Yeah. So I it mean, has you were talking, doubled the goodness of the sound. What are you talking? A two hundred for the light speed. That's true. We, pounds. So you're talking. <laughs> Your light speed and your exotic compressor pedal together cost about the same as that guitar. <laughs> this is the craziness. Pedals, man. I just. Yeah. I, 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 but it does. I mean, it does do something. It sounds to the, good. I mean, here's the diff. Okay. Yeah. On the. It just gives it, it just gives fuller. it a fatter sort of sort of full, fuller tone. For a fuller tone. It's fuller tone. A George fuller tone. Hey. Ah, but I, I do like the back pick up on it. Roll the tone off. Oh, the tone of volume. D chord with a with a G bass end. It's a D with an F sharp in the bass. A lot of people take sounds that chord. Good. Yeah. Sorry, I, mean, I, I it should. Sounds great, doesn't it? So let me just. Uh, I like that. So you went from a. Sounds good, man. And then you want to take the A. You have to check on the, on the camera here. I'll show you this bit. When you do the A, you don't just do that. You literally put your fingers over. So you get that top. That's good, isn't it? Uh, I mean, that sounds good. If you were it does sound good. If you were to loop that. Do it. Nine, oh. 
There's 15 to sell. Once they're gone, they're gone, I guess, unless one of these other big retailers in America decides to do some more. I'll you, put a, a link price. in the description below. It's a good price. Pete Hanore. Oh, that's a good price. You're a great guitar I mean, player. this is a good price for this guitar. It is a good price for, for three, that guitar. Does it come with a case or a box? Or, nope. so a, a box. No, a box. Yeah, a box <laughs> and a receipt. Comes with a receipt, uh, a free receipt, and this uh, one, a free box, probably some polystyrene. This one is um, hanging in the store now, and, and the serial number our is... Undying love and affection <laughs> yeah. and gratitude. Gratitude, thanks. I mean, this is uh, serial number 17081572, and it's hanging in the shop right now. I took this yeah. down off the wall. You know what? So you might be able to get this you're one. Gonna, you're going to include that in the video, and you're going to upset everybody in the warehouse, because every request now is going to... <laughs> can you make sure I get this one? And no, no, no. to open like 15 boxes because to that, just go... This is the one that's hanging in the shop no, this right will be, now. This will be gone tomorrow. Today is... What is the day? It's the 12th. Monday the 12th. Have you remembered to buy some flowers for your wife for Valentine's Day? She doesn't want to. What? She, does, she doesn't care about it. She says, it's just, don't worry. Probably will anyway. Yeah, you should but, anyway. But, so, normally she goes, it doesn't matter, don't worry about it. All right. Let's well, I, I don't know when else. this video is coming out, but on the assumption that this video maybe comes out before Valentine's Day, I hope you all had a lovely time yeah. and bought your other half something beautiful. And maybe, you buy one of these guitars. if your other half's looking for something to buy you something for Valentine's Day, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is almost what a bunch of roses would cost you. It's obscene. I've just bought my wife a bunch of roses. I didn't buy the cheap ones. You know, I bought like one of the better bunches and it just cost me 70 pounds to buy a, like, a bunch of flowers. That'll be dead in a week. If I did that what, five what? times, I could have just bought that guitar and that won't be dead in a week. Dude, and on that bombshell, <laughs> on that... Happy Valentine's just Day. ridiculous. I know, but it's, you know, it's because I love her. It's a sign of it's a sign of my undying. She had two children for me. Yeah, you know, but it's I'll like, just give her seventy quid girl. instead. Go and spend them on doing that instead, man. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? get yourself a new dress. Go get yourself a nice. Go with something nice. You know, don't spend them all in flowers. Hey, comment section below. Never mind the guitar. Not interested. Yeah. Comments on the whether or not Valentine's Day is a good thing or not, and just how much of a rip off flowers can be. I tell you, oh, I tell you, this is a good hint. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go, you go to the shop the day after Valentine, and then you buy stuff. <coughs> next day, it's going to yeah. cost next to nothing. It's all going to be on sale, and then you can buy. T yeah. yeah. Or why not just you know <laughs> go to a graveyard and steal some off of someone? You know, it's like <laughs> seriously, man. I mean, there's a point where you just in Somerset, go, you know, in the spirit in of Somerset, it, just when you drive, I just drive down the road and I just <laughs> open the window up, and I just grab my hand out into a bush and it's full of flowers and just go here you go. Brilliant. That's it. And I I'm, love these videos. Yeah, anyway, good. nothing to do with anything. No. But thanks for watching anyway. Yeah. Go and buy one of these guitars. Bye. Great. <laughs>
If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.